Boxing is one of the most corrupted sports there is and there have been in the history of sports. We would take a $5 million guarantee not knowing there's $30 million that we missed. The business of being a boxer outside of the sport, have you evolved in what's important outside the ring for you or do you always just rely on if I do my job in the ring, the money will be right? 100%, you know, I once was that guy that let me take this and just do my job. Let me sign this contract and get this guarantee. But once you get older and once you start noticing that you in control of your own business, okay, so let me see the contracts. Let me see what's really coming in. But once I started asking those type of questions or learning a little bit here and there, then it became a problem Yeah, between me and my old promoter. And at that point in time, I knew it was time to go. You gotta understand all of these promoters like Don King and Bob Arum, they lawyers, <laughs> you know what I mean? First. They lawyers, and if they not lawyers, they got some of the baddest lawyers around them, you know, so they can give you those type of contracts where they protecting they self, but they confusing you at the same time so you can sell your soul. That's like what you see happening in the record business and realizing like they don't have to be like that. You know what I'm saying? Like that's how it's been. Like the boxer didn't get the fair share, but you know, someone like you has the ability to change that. It's definitely like the record business. You know, a lot of those rappers, they work their ass off to build them type of masterpieces that they build, but they don't own it. It's kind of like us fighters. We fight our ass off, but we don't own our fights. The promotional company own our fights.